First of all, in part one, we're going to talk about dogman types. There are considered to be two types of dogmen. There are the canine types, which are seen more commonly, and type threes, which are similar to Bigfoot, but with a shorter snout as compared to a canine type. The canine types are distinguished by their canine-like backward-facing lower legs, as you might see if you have watched the movie Underworld. These generally have longer tails, and their ears sit on the top of their heads. Some say these are a bit more aggressive. They are digitigrade, meaning they appear to be walking mainly on the ball of their feet with the back heel raised. With respect to type threes, they are characterized by their hominid style legs, much like Bigfoot. They tend to have no tails, and their ears may be seen on the sides of their heads. These are plantigrade, meaning they walk with the entire sole of their feet on the ground. Both types have subcategories. Canine type subcategory one has eyes on the sides of its head like a cow, which is called monocular vision. I think Kirk Stokes of episode 17 of Dogman Encounter saw one in 1991. Then there's canine type subcategory 2, which is extremely large, robust, and muscular, and is similar to the black werewolf in the movie Van Helsing, and can have enormous heads. Canine type subcategory 3 is similar to a timber wolf but which moves about on two legs. Now with regard to type threes, subcategory one of this type is big and robust like a Bigfoot, has pointed ears, a shorter muzzle as compared to a canine type, and hasn't a tail. Some have argued this type is actually a type of Bigfoot called a Gugwe, which is very aggressive. One of these types was seen in 1995 in seven shoots of Quebec, Canada. Whether it is a dogman or a Bigfoot is up for debate. Type 3 subcategory 2 is less hefty than the first subcategory, is tall and has a baboonish head. This one may or may not have a tail. Finally, Type 3 subcategory 3 is roughly the same height as a man and has a werewolf-like head, like in the movie Silver Bullet. 